Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be upgrading the internal hard drive or solid state drive in the original MacBook Air with the OWC ZF SSD. We've already backed up our data to an external drive, shut down, unplugged, and placed the MacBook Air on a soft, static-free surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to flip the MacBook Air over. On the bottom, you'll find 10 Phillips screws. First, remove the four screws along the hinge edge. As you remove them, notice that the center two screws are longer than the outer two. Next, remove the remaining six screws, which are all the same size. Once all the screws have been removed, you can remove the back plate by lifting up from the hinge edge and pulling it free. Disconnect the battery cable by sliding it out of its socket on the logic board. We can now safely remove the internal drive. Disconnect these two ribbon cables by gently lifting up on them, using your nylon pry tool if necessary. Next, carefully pull this cable away from the hard drive bracket. There's a small plastic piece covering one of the bracket screws. You should be able to simply lift it up and away. Finally, you'll want to detach this small board from the hard drive bracket by gently lifting it up with your nylon pry tool. We can now remove the four Phillips screws holding the drive in place. The first one we'll want to remove is hiding under this ribbon cable. The next screw to remove is located here. The final two screws are located near the outside edge of the MacBook Air and are slightly shorter than the other two. Once the screws have been removed, you can gently lift the hard drive carrier up and out, being careful not to catch it on any wires or cables. Remove the outer metal carrier from the drive simply by sliding it off. Do the same with the rubber gasket. Flip the drive over to show the zero insertion force connector. Use your nylon pry tool to gently lift up on the little black bar until it's standing vertically. The hard drive ribbon cable should then slide right out. We are now ready to install the new drive. Remove the OWC ZF SSD from its packaging and flip it over to show the ZIF connector. Using your nylon pry tool, make sure the black bar is in the vertical position like with the other drive. Slide the ribbon cable into the drive connector so that the connector on the other end is facing up. Once the cable is inserted completely, use your nylon pry tool to push the black bar back down into its horizontal position. We can now install the rubber gasket. Note that there's a small notch along one end of the gasket. This lines up with the ribbon cable. Slip the gasket over the hard drive as shown, making sure all edges fit cleanly. The metal drive frame also has a notch on it to accommodate the ribbon cable. Slide the drive into the frame. Use your nylon pry tool to seat the rubber gasket inside the frame so that the pieces are flush. Carefully slide the drive assembly back into place, making sure no cables are pinched underneath. Use the longer screws to attach the drive at the inner points. Then, secure the two outer points with the smaller two screws. 
Reattach the small circuit board to the drive carrier by aligning the pins on the carrier with the holes on the board and gently pushing down. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stick. Do the same with the plastic cable guide. Then route the cable along the drive edge like it was before. You may now reattach the two ribbon cables by gently pushing them into place. Reattach the battery connector and we're ready to close up. There are a couple of tabs along the edge of the bottom cover. Insert these into the grooves along the edge of the MacBook Air, then lay the cover into place. The six smallest screws attach around the bottom edge. Take the two longest screws and attach them in the center two holes along the hinge edge. The two remaining screws can then go in the corners. You may now flip your MacBook Air over, open it up, and power on.